What's up, YouTube? Exciting video today. But first off, 40% off code AFTERMATH. Use it. Use it! Right here, right now, ladies and gentlemen. You're not going to get a better price than from your man in the AFTERMATH. You feel me? You feel me? So use it! But anyways, we are going to the gym right now. And uh, we're going to do some explosive training today. Look bigger. You trying to look, you trying to run that forty yard dash? Forty yard dash. This guy's trying to make me look bad, you know. <laughs> I see you moving, bro. Stop acting like you ain't fast, bro. I see you moving, bro. What's up, everybody? First off, we got Big Boy over here at my gym. It's the second time I seen him in my gym. He said he want to get some football, athletic strength man, strong man type stuff going on. So if you want to see that, guys, make sure you comment below on the channel. Like this video also. Shout out to Big Boy as well. Now, today, we are going over exercises to help you guys be a better sprinter, to help with your sprint mechanics, that will also help with your jumping mechanics as well. So to start out, we're gonna get out with a warm up. I'm gonna show you guys uh, what I'll do to pretty much get myself engaged, get my body engaged before we hit these exercises. All right, starting out, uh, floor circuit that we're gonna work on to get our bodies warmed up. So I'm not gonna talk about it. What you do, just pay attention, follow along to what I'm doing and pretty much uh, see it as 10 reps for each uh, movement that we're doing. Sumo squat, boom, knees out, push out a little bit, push in, push out, push in. What I mean by push in is you're pushing your, your, your knees in to your elbows. So pushing out with my elbows, pushing in with my knees, out, in, out, those 10 times. So with running, simple thing with running, what is the most important breakdown of running? It's bringing your knee up to a dorsiflex and then the capture, which is boom. Right here, boom, right? But we want distance in our stride, right? The faster, the longer we can have our stride and the faster we can move with that stride length the faster we're going to run. You can do all the, the all the little short, little short ninja runs. It, it, I know people that think they're running hella fast that take these little strides. If you look at sprinters, they have good strides. They're up here, boom, and this is the ground they capture, right? Capture, boom, at high speeds. And that's what you want when you're trying to sprint faster. You have to capture, open up that stride. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna strengthen the areas needed to bring that leg up faster, right, stronger, because doing this right here, you'll feel a contraction right here in the hips. So doing this right here, you have to build this area to be able to bring this up faster and pull out from that stride. And also you're gonna need the hamstring strength. The hamstring is what's gonna carry you through. The, this is where your power comes from. This is where what that carry through is gonna come from right here. So we're gonna hit all of these areas. Now, to start out, what I like to do is we're gonna grab one of these right here. You know the little things you put around your ankles? And we'll start our first exercise. So, we got the leg attachment, boom, right here. As you can see, it's coming up. What we're gonna do is focus on keeping glutes engaged, boom. So tuck the, tuck the hips right here, tuck it in. We don't wanna be like this. 
The reason why we don't want to be like this, a lot of people, especially like myself, I have just like that really arched back and people think that I have like a big belly, which honestly, this is, this is like my normal posture. My posture really isn't that great, right? You might think I have a stomach or whatever, but when I actually correct my posture right here, this is actually how I look. And a lot of times I think I'm fat and stuff when I'm not. It's just that my back makes my belly curve pretty much, but which it's a bad thing, which I still need to correct. But we're gonna tuck our hips in right here. You're gonna feel it, you're gonna squeeze the glutes, right? And we're gonna have a somewhat of a staggered stance. And we're gonna do about six reps of you just focusing on driving up, staying, staying uh, tight in the hips, stay tight in the glutes, driving up, boom, dorsiflex, back down, one. Boom, two, hold it for like a second or two, boom. Three, boom, four, boom, five, boom, six. Six reps, we'll do about four sets, four to five sets of this exercise. Six reps each leg when you do this. And once again, what this is gonna help do is gonna help strengthen the quad muscles, right, the hips and the quads, allowing you to bring your leg up faster. And then after that, we just break it down. The thing about me is when I think about trying to, even, even before I was super knowledgeable in, um, in I, I won't say super knowledgeable, but when I, before I even got like really knowledgeable at all in fitness, I wanted to get better at, you know, sprinting mechanics, at jumping mechanics. So I would research what are, you know, the exercises that, I, I would break down the sprint. Right, I would, I, I, what I did, I'll never, I never forget, I was in my dorm room, I was like, okay, what do I feel working when I bring my knee up, right? I'm pretty much breaking down the sprint. What do, I, what do I feel when I'm bringing my knee up? I feel my hips engaging, my quads engaging a lot, right? And then I have to keep that knee over my foot, dorsiflex, what else am I feeling? The ankles, uh, the shins working, and then what else? When I'm, when I'm going fully through the motion. Quad, 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 boom. Now I feel my calf, I'm feeling my calf contract, I'm feeling my hamstrings come in, the back of the knees. So I'm thinking about all of these muscles that are being worked in this movement from the lower part. I haven't even started with the upper part yet, with the arms coming and in the back and everything. And I'm like, okay, these are the things that I need to work on to improve you know, this, uh, this movement. And I need, to, I need to work on the movement itself while improving these muscles. Now, you'll realize as you bring your, as you bring your leg up, this left glute is gonna contract as well, right? Because that's what the triple extension is from. Triple extension is pretty much right here. Like this right here, this is your drive phase. This is triple extension right here, boom. Glute squeezing, that's where you're firing from, that's where the explosive uh, power is coming from when you're sprinting, and this is in your drive phase, right here. Now, we're focusing on your stride phase of the sprint. You can also break it down, come to that drive phase, and right here, one, two, Same thing there. That's just another breakdown of the same movement we're doing. And I'll do that too. Usually I'll come in and do my dry phase first, six reps each leg, and then come up, because you're coming out the drive, and then now you're more upright, but you still need that strength to pull through on, the str on, on sprinting. And then I'll come up and do the same thing, four to five sets of uh, six reps with this. Next exercise, it's pretty simple. You literally turn this right here and you attach it again. Boom. This time, grab this. You want your leg to be lined up right here. And what we're gonna do is we're coming from where we pretty much end on that, that first exercise. Boom. One, two, boom. Three, boom, four. Now what's happening is 
in this phase we're tugging you're having to fight the weight keeping you from overdoing yourself from coming all the way out here when you sprint you want control throughout the full range of motion right and a lot of mistakes that a lot of people do is they don't have the type of range of motion to really get out there and stride right a lot of people when people get injured it's because they're overreaching and usually you overreach because your muscles are tired and you're trying to gain more ground than you uh, can typically gain. And that's where a lot of tears and stuff come from. So we're focusing on this, boom, catch, one, catch, two, catch, three, boom, four, boom, five, boom, six. Six reps, relax, we're going a little bit heavier but you're gonna feel that tuck on the hamstring. You're gonna feel the calves engage as well. And you want to be able to control that weight from right here, boom. It's pulling, it's pulling, it's pulling. Putting my foot down, boom. Right back up. I just went eight reps just to show you guys more. Let me switch legs. And I just realized my shit is ashy, boy. <laughs> legs ashy to the mud, boy. And I don't always have access to a track and field or something, so I have to do what I can when I'm in the gym. That's why a lot of times you just gotta see me in the gym and I'm gonna feel because there's just, I don't have um, much access, especially with COVID, to an actual field for me to get this type of work done. And I really don't wanna do this type of work on concrete and stuff either, uh, cause it's not good for the joints. But same thing over here. Up, touch, one. You want control. You don't want to do this, right, and then that happen. You want to feel the weight in the full range of motion. So, control means touch, boom, right here. The weight doesn't jump. Boom. You guys having a good day? Yeah. Hopefully everybody is. Boom, catch me live streaming, baby. It's at twitch.tv slash TV. I just got hit up for uh, rugby. Colorado Raptors or something like that. You're thinking about doing it? Well, I'm, I'm gonna hit him up and see what he's talking about. You know, I mean, I just wanna play some type of football, bro, on the field or whatever. Any word on XFL trials or anything? Like XFL is not until after next year, after this year, bro. Literally, next year, I'm like, fuck, bro, I'm getting old. I thought it was like fall 2021. No. Is it 2022? 2022. I believe it's 2022. And uh, CFL, Trial is supposed to be in March. Well, CFL Combine is in March. So I'm trying to prepare for that as well. Whew. All right. Moving on, moving on. All right, so now we're going to work on being sitting back and coming out using our hips to be more explosive. Let's say we do a movement where it requires us to work in our starting position, the explosiveness from the start is what's gonna have, have you at advantage amongst other uh, athletes. So, what I mean by that is when you start, right? You're right here, not on both knees, of course, you're on one, you know, you're, you're like, like this, but you're right here, and when you start, ready, set, go, boom! You know what I'm saying? That's how it is. And what's gonna help you in that situation is the drive in your hips in that first startup. Damn, this shit burnt the shit out of my knees. <laughs> so, ready, set, go, boom! Right? That's what's gonna take you off. So what we're doing right now is we're working on that same thing. So right here, we're gonna focus on being explosive, jamming our hips. You've probably seen me do this before. Down here, jamming our hips in. What we're gonna do, we're gonna do five reps, Right here, right here, and right here. So first five, sitting back, boom. See, as I come up, boom. My hips pushing in. Two, boom. Three, boom. Four, boom. Five. Switching, sitting back. One, two, three, four. Switch it here. Back. One. Two. Three. 
four. Ooh, five. We'll do four sets. 15 reps all together. Today is all about linear, that linear advantage. Getting that linear speed, that linear power. So let's finish off hitting those hamstrings a little bit more because I feel like a lot of us are quad dominant, right? Which is good. I mean, it allows you to be a lot more explosive, powerful, but you need just as strong hamstrings to stay injury free, to increase your speed. And also with the lower back, we're going to do hyper extensions. And what is going to help is the hamstrings, lower back. We do set to 15, four sets, and we're also going to superset because we also need to. We need to contract the, the uh, hamstrings and we need to extend the hamstrings. So what we're gonna do is 15 reps here, and then we're gonna do a little dancing. We want a tempo, tempo, hurdle overs. Boom, one straight leg, two, one, 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 two. Boom, we're gonna do that three times down and back. Four, squeeze those glutes when you come up. tight hamstrings and when you got tight hamstrings you're running boom boom let's say you run at 200 you're running running boom and then you start to get tired your muscles start to lose oxygen and you're trying to compensate by trying to grab more ground over your tiredness trying to grab more ground and losing speed and that's how a lot of people tear something hit that thumbs up button if you're liking the video and uh, like in the vibes of the video, the knowledge, we got more gum, baby. It's just one of the exercises, one of the workouts. It's a lot more linear workouts I got coming. A lot more lateral workouts. We'll be working on explosive stuff. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for tuning into the channel. Once again, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, comment below what type of movements or any performance um, type of exercises you would like to see. Help me out, give me some ideas uh, for what you guys want and I can share my knowledge and quality of content with you guys. Appreciate you guys for being here. Let's uh, get this channel back on the road and uh, on the map and uh, bring you you know, entertainment, knowledge, just, just good content, man. So. Uh, once again, see you guys later. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash FBAftermathTV. And uh, catch you guys later. Gotta change things up, baby. Make you guys better athletes.